on tonight's exciting episode of Sir Tap Tap Kills People. I don't know what's going on. Oh, they had more stuff to say. Well, I suck at making cliffhangers. Tell me stuff. He's yeah. been here before. Mr. Mutton Chops. Ah, I should have waited until that. I should have waited to the puzzle, I guess. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh ho! What have we got here? Ah. I don't think I can save Lionel. I think it's. Oh! Oh! I need to stop being dumb. Wait, no, I don't. I need to save this guy because I want to see his ending first. Sorry! You suck. Guess it wasn't Colonel Mustard after all. So this is how it goes, is it? I don't know what, how, how much longer I can do this. What are you talking about? You, what were you saying before that chat cut out? While we're at it, how do you know everything? And why did you light the fire? There's nothing I can do now. Might as well tell you what I know. The reason I lit the fire... We did not know that at all. That's I'm very surprised by this. This does not make sense. I don't know. I'm so confused right now. I figured this would be with all the multiple endings and the slow reveals. Somebody's been trying to get me and other people to play 999 and frickin... What the hell is that name of that game? Virtue's Last Reward. It seems like This seems like a short, much, much, much shorter version of that. Like, I like the idea of that, but I wouldn't want to be playing, like, a game for a billionaire to try and hunt down 18 different endings, and, you know, you didn't get this ending because, you know, you, you put this key in lengthwise, and you're supposed to put it in wide-wise in Chapter 2, and, and then you got to replay the whole goddamn game, and I don't know. It just seemed unpleasant. You're not going to believe this. No, I know you're not going to believe this. I knew the security code because I heard you read it out. He's from the future, guys! From the future. See, I knew we would have some time-traveling shit here going on. It's only been three times, actually. So... Need a security code to save anyone. Blue file. Tempest entrance. We found that last time. Bright light, and suddenly... Oh! -ho -ho! So I need the visitor to find the temper Tempest entrance to actually save everybody. Oh, so that's why you're acting crazy. Oh, he wanted us to kill him just so he didn't have to repeat again. Sorry, I kind of stole your thunder there. <laughs> Not that it wasn't obvious. Five times now, I've watched them all die just so I can live, and for what? Do-do-do. <laughs> it's all for the mutton chops. I actually secretly love the mutton chops. Despite the, like, dozen jokes I've made about them now. Checked everywhere. The doors are locked, just like last time. No choice. I have to go back to the start. Fire's contained now. Just wait. Can't let the loop end until everyone else survives. Been through too much. I'm ready to die. Whoever makes it out of this building should want to live. Huh. It's pretty screwed up. I'm outside the Tempest entrance now. This is it. These two would end with two people alive, I think. 
We're gonna save those for last because they seem special somehow. We are gonna save Colonel Mustard. And it was quite easy. I guess the other one was quite easy too. You go, girl. Fire's been contained. Casualties, Troy. Excellent. You've made the right decision. Not so sure it was the right decision. Now, you made a promise. Very well, a deal's a deal. What do you want to know? I want to know what Christina... I want to know what Christina was talking about. What's going on in this company? Christina herself has no idea what we do here. That... Why did you dramatic pause before that? That wasn't very dramatic. That's just like a normal thing, you say. Phoenix Corporation, large stocks of cheap products, just to keep the book looking busy, it's a front. Our true interest here is time travel! Phoenix time travel! Time travel. <laughs> you expect me to believe that. I don't care what you believe, you ask for the truth, and here it is. Now if you'll let me continue, you in fact have a fully functional time machine. But the time machine we've constructed doesn't quite work like the ones you see in the movies. And it does nothing because night travel isn't real? That happens in the movie sometimes. Um, you're not going to listen, I don't see why you bothered saving me. No, our time travel doesn't affect physical objects. You can carry a person's consciousness through time. Dun 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 dun. And that's why the bird do the thing. Our machine can carry those objects through the time. Oh, that's why they cut her brain out. Brains. Yes, go hop in the machine. After you find a blue file, because then we can save everybody. At first, then after an hour, your consciousness would re-enter your body. You would be come back to life. It's impossible. Not successfully. Birds, people, dogs, anything with a brain can travel in our machine. What use is that sort of time travel? Your body would have to decompose if you went forward more than a few hours. That's true. We're still experimenting with methods of preserving the body that allow the consciousness to re-enter it. Currently freezing seems promising. But my fridge isn't quite big enough. But this is not where our true interest lies. If a person travels forward through time, they can visit distant eras. Like, they can still only live through the 80 years their body dictates. But what if they were to travel backwards? Exactly. They would retain their memory, experiences gained over time, but they would have a younger body. Unless they were an accident and died instantly, they could live forever! Whoa, whoa! Yes! With our time machine, no one has to die! That would be huge! But how does it work? We believe so. Oh, but does it work? What's that supposed to mean? Our tests traveling forward have gone exactly to plan, however. No test things don't quite work so well going backwards. Human test subject entered the machine, we activated it, her consciousness left her body, and never came back. She died. She's still alive in the brain that she kept. They kept. I'm calling it. It's terrible. What went wrong? We dedicated every resource we have available to discovering the cause of this problem. You haven't worked it out? The machine way have worked. It's an incredibly complicated concept. You have to do something for me. No. Oh ho ho! So we're sending me back in time now, probably. Oh hey! Whoa! What? Final timeline has appeared. New challenger. Wait, but what about these? We're gonna see these first. Wait, crap! I don't know who to save. Hang on. Wait, no, I saved mutton chops. To er, yes, I saved mutton chops. So I need to save Christina this time. Uh, which is pretty easily. Wait. That's all I do, right? Okie dokie. Let's see what drama lies beyond this door. Well, guess he finally got what we wanted. Cost my company millions, and he killed four people. It'll be six, you don't get out of here soon. Alright, alright, I found the stairs. Me too. 
didn't mean to be so callous. Something might have been the point. What do you mean by that? Troy probably won't stop Phoenix from doing whatever messed up things you do here, which I totally don't know about. Ha ha. Hee hee. Nervous laughter. I suppose it makes sense. Can you tell that I'm getting tired of going through the storyline yet? I want to go to the real one, but I want to see these first. Slip the tongue. Drama! Oh. Calculation's complete! <laughs> yep, you're dead. <laughs> I wondered if that would... I figured either they would make it out somehow or die somehow. I guess that's really the only way to go. Either way, goodbye. <laughs> well... Nothing I can do. Well then. <laughs> Bad ends. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, I know. Well, this is good, because these will be quick, so I don't have to suffer through too much. That's not interesting. It's hard to do the reveals like that. Wait. Alright, skip. Who was I supposed to save? I think I'm saving this guy. Oh, right, this is the one where I thought the choice was forced, but it's actually not. Because I did not think to just turn off the freaking water. Yeah. I'm sorry, game. I'm sorry. You made the right decision. I'm sure you won't regret it. I'm so sorry. Christina? Okay, that's alright. I don't expect you to talk to me. I was supposed to get down out of here with one of us stop playing along. Well, found the stairs. And it's gonna turn out You're both gonna have to die. Why do we have this machine that calculates like its only purpose is to calculate how many people are going to die on a floor? That seems unnecessary. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not a bad guy. I just wanted to see all the endings. <laughs> Christina, I hope you die painfully. <laughs> just say it. I want to make sure you die first. Oh, I can't. Whatever. I'm going to make you die slow then. You suck. Alright, bad end number two. Well, that was pointful. Alrighty. Let's get the true ending. Tempest engage, security blue to do. Oh ho ho. But I'm in the past. Da, 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 da. Chris, you're alive. I knew you're alive. You guys, you remember? Oh, hey, did we all somehow know, or what? I didn't light the fire. Steve, he's telling the truth. I set the fire. Oh, hey, Lionel. Amazing. RTFS. Oh, so we all went back in one timeline somehow, like each of the endings. Well, that's neat. Quickly enter all the codes. Four codes seed, full access granted. No casualties expected. Aw, yeah. It's the name of the game! Oh my god! We now have the security codes. We're all safe. Let's get out of here then. Do 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 do. Dramatic music. Do 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 do. Dramatic music. Fire's been contained. We're still alive. Still owes all an explanation. How is everybody alive again? How did I end up back where I was when the fire started? Why aren't these rooms fire damaged anymore? Visitor? Yes, you invented the time machine. 
Impossible brew. Well, it's a bit different than a time machine. It's like a way back machine for your brain. Forwards, going backwards, you killed someone. They never returned to their body. That. Yes, they did. We just did. That was a lie. You liar. Fucking lying about your dead mother. You shouldn't do that. It's a very rude thing. I've got a book here of rude things. Lying about your dead mother. It's number 384. But it's a pretty long book, so that's still pretty high. Let the fire. Rex Corporation. I don't believe it. Your mother's not dead. Yep, she's in her brain. We keep her in a jar now. Do 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 do. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> Puzzles were never that hard before. <laughs> Unless you're dumb and you don't know how to turn off the water, then they're hard. Mother's not dead. It's gonna be hard to explain. She's a brain in a jar. I'm calling it brain in a jar. Possibly Genova. Hopefully not Genova. That would be bad. More likely brain in a jar. She was designed perfectly. Tempest Room. Correct. Conducted many experiments and eventually came to an fascinating conclusion. When our subject had traveled forward through time, the future was not set. Set. So time would bend to accommodate our time traveler. That is, the consciousness traveling through time would remain in its own timeline. When traveling backwards, things were not so simple. The consciousness had become lost in the mess that is time space. It's usually called space time, bro. Come on, get with the program. It would find a host, one which owned the consciousness, and one which existed in the time it had been sent back to. It would not always find a host in its own universe. Well then, we just like killed a bunch of people in several different universes. So that's cool. Our research suggested there are a nearly infinite number of universes, each nearly identical. With only one minute with only minute differences between them. So when Christine's mother traveled backwards through time, she was not alone. Trillions of her, maybe even more, traveled too. They would randomly they would land randomly different timelines. Wouldn't there only be one? I don't know. Whatever. I guess maybe if all of them experienced the same thing. Some timelines, no one would never know that Christina's mother had even left, or that the consciousness returned to her body wasn't from their universe. Rare few consciousnesses would land back where they began in their own universe. But many timelines were left here, in this universe, where Christina's mother's consciousness left this world, but no other consciousness returned to fill her body. They're just wandering there, or what? I am. I'm buying every word of this, and they're very cheap. Frickin' on sale here. It explains everything. You know, lots of things can explain everything if you just make shit up, to be quite honest. Took me a while to figure out, but we have been brought here by the Tempest Machine. We are incredibly lucky. Yep. Yeah, I figured that was go what was going on here. <laughs> Poor Troy. End of each of these casualties, survivor after the Themis machine, blah da doo. Randomly shot into another universe. Five different universes into one. Now that we all are here. But when did both of us I guess the visitor and Lionel went in in the Lionel ending. Okay, so that happening practically zero. It's incredibly likely. There are probably hundreds of universes which the same thing has happened here. Nothing about this seems incredibly likely. But it is the truth! You can't handle the truth. I like the computer is just like, shut up with the exposition already! We've gotta do stuff! Stupid fire. Okay, that guy's safe. I don't think she really needs to do anything. Uh, this guy's in trouble though. Wait, no. Oh! Herm. Oh! I'm stupid. Go in there. Press that. Let's go. And... Let's not forget that. That is an important thing to not forget. Okie dokie. Let's wait for that to spread. 
Violet <laughs> fires have been contained. Soon we'll be able to talk in person and beat each other up or something. I can't believe you're alive. You're both alive. Hurry up. I'm already here. Has anyone unlocked the door for me? This kind of corpses in here. Guys. And then he died. Aw, you bitch. You double bitch. You triple bitch. There are no longer words to describe how much of a bitch you are. Please don't kill me. Oh, I hate you. Ah, I hate you so much. But Steve, I don't care about Steve. He's a douche. He likes freaking chicken tacos. Who likes chicken tacos? You had to choose one person's happiness over another time and time again. You should know. Well, well, you know what being dead in a room with two corpses feels like? Cause it's not nice. So please let me out. Well. You know, you don't need to be all sore about me choosing to kill you. You are kind of a jerkwad of epic proportions. Yeah, you're kind of a murderer and an arsonist. But you're a murderer and an arsonist in all of the other worlds too, so... <sighs> Whatever. Someone please let me out of the room with the corpses. They smell really like corpses and blood and... Stuff that is bad. Guys. Room full of corpses. Guys. Lionel. Douchebag. Mutton chops. Colonel Mustard. Hi, buddy. <laughs>